This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 4. Who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises? With that, we like to give all glory and honor and praise to Yahweh, Barashim, Yahweh, Barashim, and and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to the hopeful elect that's pushing this word, work with truth and sincerity. And, um, and to all your brothers and sisters listening in. With this lesson, we'd like to begin with the curses and the blessings on Deuteronomy 28. We'd like to go into who the Israelites are also to give you a better understanding so that you can have a, um, so that you can know who this applies to the word. It's, it's for you so-called um, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you know, because these curses apply to us even to this day. So that's yeah. how you're able to prove that we are under these curses. And also, it gives us a history, too, on how we got here and why we're here as a punishment and why we're being oppressed at this time. So before we begin, we would like to um, go over the, the blessings real quick. You're able to do that? Uh, like, just tell them. We had to hearken into um, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You want to go to the blessings or you want to just go ahead and go into the curses first? Um, we could just, um, go to the blessings real quick because, you know, the curses we're going to have precepts for, you know. Con, con, con. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to start with uh, the first um, chapter. With Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently. Unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai, thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee. This day that the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai, thy power, will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Con, so, so that has to do with our people, which is the Israelites, which we just brought out, the so called Negroes, Latinos, um, Native Americans. We, this has to do with, you know, our people having to listen and apply the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. And and these, yeah, these, these, it's a lot, brother. And he's going to go into, you know, the blessings like he was, like the brother was just saying. He's going to the blessings of what we would have received if we would have kept the law, statutes, and commandments. You know? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump now to the next verse. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai, thy power. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. So we got we got the um bullet points real quick of all the blessings we can run down God. through it's on um, one through fourteen. And instead of reading the verses, we're gonna just um mention the bullet points. You can do that on um, what we can show up. God, God, God. Real quick. All right, so real. so in verse three where it says, Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field, you'll be blessed anywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere you walk, anywhere you, you know, in the field, you're going to be blessed with all your crops and your cattle. You know, um, 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 where it says also in the in the city, you'll be blessed anywhere you walk around. You know, jumping down to verse 4, it says, Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the crease of thy kin, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessings to your seed and everything we own, we will be blessed. Plentiful, you know. Number verse five, our businesses will be blessed. You know everything that you own. Your your your. You know how Jake got. You know they try to do businesses here. Just and imagine it, it, your businesses it didn't work. In the, it didn't exactly. Work because we're under the curses right now. You know, like Black Wall Street. God, you know, when it got God. bombed down, I believe God. it got bombed down or whatever. Yeah, like, man. We yeah, can't strive yeah. here. You and, know? And, and if you if you if you know anything about uh, you know uh, what is it? Touch touch uh. Tuscaloosa, I think it's Tuscaloosa, Ohio. If I'm not mistaken, I could be saying that wrong. But that was a Black Wall Street, man. They had 628, you know, different businesses. Black-owned barbershops, Black-owned uh, hospitals, and, and all of that, man. But what happened? It, it didn't work. Why? Because like the brother just said, man, we were under them curses. You know? Uh, verse 6. When we go into any place, we will be blessed in and out. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Verse 7. The Lord Yahweh shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face, and they shall come against thee on Salah. And they shall come against thee one way and flee 
before the seven ways, before these seven ways. And seven goes into like completion, like unlimited amount. Right. Other nations will, will not be able to touch you and um yeah, they will not be able to touch you and, 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 and they'll have unlimited fleeing. Cause like we say, man, but uh that seven is going to completion. It could be a hundred, it could be ten, it could be thirty, it could be a thousand, you know, unlimited. it could be infinity, it's it's a limited, you know. Um verse eight. Give us the land and bless anything we touch, we will be blessed. So, you know, once we get our own land, anything we touch going to be blessed, man. Our crops going to be blessed. You know, our land going to be blessed and holy. You know, everything, man. Our kingdom, everything. Our, our, our kids, our women, all of that, brothers. Uh, verse 9. We will have holy and we will be holy and separated from everyone else high above all nations, man. So we gonna be we gonna be above all other nations. All other nations is eighteen nations in the in the in the Bible, man. They gonna all be below us. And right now we at the lowest point, you know, because we under the curses. We at the lowest point. Verse ten. All the other people will be afraid of us and know that we call that we are called by the Most High. All these other nations will be afraid, man. They gonna be afraid. They gonna be afraid to even they even try us. They're going to be afraid. To, that's like now, man. As soon as you walk inside of a store and you in a you in a Moab store or you in an Edomite store, they looking at you crazy. They so afraid. They moving out of their way. Just imagine how it's going to be in the kingdom when you get all these blessings, man. And that still goes with the curses too, though. Because right. when you're inside the, uh, the store or whatever, like inside the field and out. Right. And we're gonna to get to it though, but that goes with the curses. So like you will be looked down upon when you're in stores and stuff. They'll think you're stealing or you know, they're thinking that you're a criminal, you know what I'm saying? And that goes into the curses, which we'll we'll bring that out too. We just wanted to go through the one to fourteen blessings real quick. God. All the blessings verse eleven, all the blessings will come to the to the land that he swore to our forefathers to give us. Verse twelve, we will have ultimate resources given it to all other nations. Right, man, we're gonna have ultimate, ultimate food, ultimate water, ultimate diamonds, gold, everything, man. Like they're gonna have to come to us to get that stuff. Instead of us going to the Edomites, they're gonna come to us to get that, man. All you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Native American Indians, man. Verse 13. We will be on top. We will not be beneath, we will not be beneath ever again. Keep thy commandments. If you go after other gods, you will not receive the blessings. And that's where the curses came upon. Why? Because we would not can we you so-called Israelites did not keep thy commandments, man. That the Lord the How Bashim al Shah gave us, man. Yeah, yeah, Israelites uh, us Israelites, you know, didn't um hearken to the voice of Yahweh Bashim al Shah and then follow the law, statutes, and commandments. So because of that, now we get hit with the cursings, all right. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and to to even prove the cursing, don't you have that one? Um, isn't it like Deuteronomy twenty one? Deuteronomy twenty one and verse twenty three. Yeah, pull that out real quick before we go into the cursing. Con, con. This is to prove, you know, who who the real Israelites are. You know, right? This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter twenty one and verse twenty three. His body shall not remain all night upon the tree, but thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged is a curse of the Most High, that thy land be not defiled, which the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai thy power giveth thee for an inheritance. Oh, so that shows like it, it um what does it say? It said it hanged from a tree. It hanged from a tree. What what nation of all nations out of the eighteen nations in the Bible? What nation was the only nation of people that was hung for trees, man? You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Issachar was hung, Levites was hung, all you brothers, all you you Israelites from the 12 tribes, man, all y'all was hung from trees, brother. You know, and that goes to show us, man, that's one of the curses, man. That was one of the curses that got put upon us, man. Um, and also going with, like, the situation with our people going off, because we just mentioned the blessings, we're going to be going into the curses, but uh, to give you a, even, like, an update before that, with Egypt, the captivity... Um, this is Judges chapter two verse um twelve. It says, and they forsook they forsook Yahweh, by Hashem Shai of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt. So that's the um story going on with how he took the Israelites out of the land of Egypt. Okay, God. 
with a strong hand, you know what I'm saying? He showed all his wonders. You help watch me, I'll try to show his wonders and everything to get us out of there so we can inherit the land, all right? But it says, um, this is Judges chapter 2, verse 12. It says, And they forsook Yahweh Bashem Yahshai of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods of the gods of the people that were round about them and bowed themselves unto them and provoked Yahweh Bashem Yahshai to anger. And they forsook Yahweh Bashem Yahshai and served Baal and um, Ash, Ashtaroth. God. And the anger of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of the spoilers that spoiled them, and he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. God, man, and then that, that right there, you know, that's a pre sub right there, 28 and 68, man. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Come on. And it says, This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spoke unto thee. Thou shalt see no more again, and there shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. What is the only nation that was sold unto, unto, unto other nations, man? As bondmen and bondwomen. You so-called Israelites, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, bro. Y'all came so, over here on ships, and just like the brother just read in the book of Judges, chapter two, and that, and, and, and it's and it's plain and simple, man. It's plain and simple, brothers. It's plain and simple. Con in Revelations, um, chapter eleven, um, verse eight mentions about Egypt, like when it says, um, and I bring that up. Um, said, uh, no, 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 no. I was just gonna um quickly say it Con, to Con. prove that that verse proves that. This place is spiritually called Egypt. All right? God. We're going because we're going to go back and we just had to mention that. So when you brought out um, Deuteronomy 28, verse 60, um, 68, eight, like when it says he'll bring you back, in, yeah, how about you know, will bring us into Egypt again? That's saying captivity again. Egypt stands for captivity. And, and in Revelations, um, Revelations um, chapter 11, verse 8, it mentions spiritually Egypt and Sodom and Gomorrah spiritually, which is this place. All right. So that's just to give you a better understanding. And also, um, it said that you, it says, um, this is Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. It says, jumping a little bit down, it says, thou shalt see, no, it says, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for enemies for bondsmen and bondswomen, and no man shall buy you. This um, precept goes with Baruch chapter four, verse six. It says, ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved Yahweh to wrath, Ye were delivered unto the enemies, for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to Yahweh. Ye have forgot you have ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. So that also goes with us being sold, you know. And right. it's not for all not for all destruction, you know what I'm saying? Like right now we're gonna be um we have we have the opportunity right now under this grace period to seek the most high right now you know what i'm saying right, right. so we're not here under these curses to be destroyed as a nation we're here to um as a punishment all right because we right, provoked right. Jehovah Hashem Yahweh shot to anger based off of us um going to these serving other gods man um, down, down to the image of all man come on and that made you know Yahweh that provoked Yahweh Hashem Yahweh shot to anger because he's a jealous power you know what i'm saying come on. and um like in the law statutes and commandments it says um ye shall um have no other gods before Yahweh Hashem Yahweh shot you know what i'm saying so it's like when you when we when we went off that that made Yahweh Hashem Yahweh shot angry so right now we were sold as slaves and we're under punishment right now and we just got to serve our punishment till Yahweh Hashem Yahweh shot comes back and because we're under grace um right now we're supposed to seek your how watching out shot so do right, this man. work edify the sheep um and the elect and edifying is also if you go into that word it's building all right so it's it's um it's bringing the nation back together okay uh -huh. Uh -huh. and i wanted to bring um this out this is jeremiah 33 verse 7 it says and i will cause the captivity of judah and the captivity of israel to return and will build them at at as at the first, okay? So because of where we was at right now, you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua will cause the captivity of Judah, which is the head tribe, the head um tribe of Israel. You know what I'm saying? 
and the captivity of Israel to return. So Israel, also, also the 12 tribe, you know what I'm saying? Go to on. return and to build them. I mean, and will build them as at the first. So we're, we're being built right now. Okay. Go on. Go on. So um, we're trying to, um, we're trying to be raising up the um, tabernacle of David. And that goes with Amos 9 verse 11. It says, in that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David, day of David that is falling, and close up and close up the breaches thereof, and I will um, raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. So the days of old, when was that? The time passed when we was um together as a nation. We had our land, and we was praising Yahweh Hashem Hashem. We had the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, Yahweh Shai being a um a great mediator is going to change. The way the law, statutes, and commandments are, instead of being on a stony, um, instead of being on a stony, you know, <coughs> on a stone, it's gonna be in our heart, which is our mind. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, so right, that way, right. we will never be able to sin and transgress. Okay. And when we did sin and transgress, that goes into these curses that we're about to get into. God. We just went into the blessings, and it says, um, Yahweh Hashem will rebuild us. You know what I'm saying? As the days of old. So oh, we're, we're, um, he's rising up the tabernacle of David, you know what I'm saying? Rebuilding, you know, this nation, all right, right. And, to and, come and, back and, uh, and return to the land. And if I may add, right. if I may add a precept before we jump into come. these uh, into these curses, this is the book of Galatians, chapter 3 and verse 10. For as many as are of the words of the law are under the curse, for it is written. What nation is under the curse? You so-called Israelites, man. Curse is everyone that continues not in all the things which are written in the book of the law to do them. So, right, when he gave us those laws, statutes, and commandments, and we decided to go off, you know what I'm saying? That's what that's what this precept comes in at, man. Just like the brother was talking about, man. He mm. brought on some, he brought on some beautiful, some Yapa precepts, man. Mm. So once we jump back into these cur curses, and man, that that what, that was saying, it's a curse um for the ones that don't follow the law. The ones that don't follow. So the it's law. like right now, since we're seeking back, y'all watch me outside. You don't want to be cursed no more. We trying to right. Serve man, we this trying to we trying to we trying to get away from this curse, man. Yeah, we're trying, we're trying to, to yeah. get away from it. We and, I hold your mindset right now. Once you know that you are Israelite, is a come back to your power. Bro. Um, Once you come back to your power and seek your help, like it says in Isaiah 33 and verse 6, that for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, man. Um, you gotta understand something, bro. This right here, this book right here, is your it is your sword, man. This gonna get you out of everything and, and all the curses that you go through, man. All the tribulations, all the chastisement, all that stuff, brothers. This book, basic instructions before leaving Earth, man, is gonna get um, you out of that. Bro. And I, I actually have a precept based off what you just said. This before we even go in. This is Hosea yeah. chapter four, verse six. It says, "My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, because <laughs> thou hast rejected knowledge." I was just thinking that. Yeah. Bro. that's just weird. <laughs> I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of Yahweh. I will also forget thy children. Right, man. Come on. Right, man. So and, and, and that's and that's exactly what it is, man. So like all you all you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians out there that, that want to sit up here and bow down to this 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 these false gods and everything, and you don't want to seek the knowledge. And you, the Lord gonna forgive you, man. It ain't gonna be no salvation for you, bro. Two thirds of our people will be destroyed. Why? Because two thirds of our people don't want to see that power, man. They rejected. They it. rejected it, man. Y'all be y'all mocking, scoff us. Y'all walk past us when we out there on them highways and them hedges, man. That's a curse put upon you, bro. Like it says in Hebrew, in, in Hebrews ten to thirty one, it is a it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, bro. That is that is that is that is that is the worst. That's your that should be if you fear God, bro. You will keep these law, statutes, and commandments, man. If you fear your how about Shema Shah, you will keep these law, statutes, and commandments. And it is a lot. It is a lot. It's a lot. It is a lot, bro. You're, You're not going to be able to do all 613 law, statutes, and commandments. You're not. But the 10 commandments that you can keep, brothers, man, keep them. Keep them to the best of your ability, man. Keep them to the best of your ability. Fasting, mm -hmm. praying, repenting, you know, studying to show thyself approved. You know what I'm saying? Doing everything that you need to do. Do the works. That don't just mean, oh, okay, yeah, I'm an Israelite. So I find out I'm an Israelite. I'm gonna just wait till Saturdays to go to go to camp, man. Oh, no, I'm gonna man. just wait on That's Saturdays to go minimum, to camp. You know what I'm saying? You're doing a bare minimum, man. You, you to gotta do that. more than that, brothers. You yeah. gotta do more than that. Once you find out you're an Israelite, man, you gotta seek your help by Shimei Arashah. You gotta seek your help by Shimei Arashah. You gotta pray on your past life sins. You gotta pray on your, your future sins and your present sins, man. You gotta repent. You gotta do all of those things, man. You gotta seek this wisdom and knowledge, man. 
Proverbs 1 and 7, man. Proverbs 1 and 7, man. The, the, the fear of Yahweh Shema Hashai is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge, man. Come on, Come brothers. On. And before we begin, this is Ecclesiastes of so Rock, chapter 43, verse 30. It says, When ye glorify Yahweh Shema Hashai, exalt him as much as ye can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. So when we're coming back right now, you know, um, you know bring it back. You said bring it back? Yeah, bring it back come, for me one come, more time, come, Prophet come, come. Let me let me get it back. Hold and on. back on back on that Proverbs one and seven, man, it's a lot, because I, I I kinda I kinda uh tempered that 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 scripture. So I'm gonna read it verbatim. It says, The fear of the Lord, Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So that's you so-called two-thirds, man. Y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all, y'all, y'all are fools, man. Y'all despise wisdom and instruction. Okay, now let's take it for an example, man. When you was in school, you know what I'm saying? When you was in school and your teacher told you to raise your hand before you speak, what did you do? You made sure you raised your hand before you spoke. The, 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 the Lord spoke to you. He told you to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, but what did you do? You pushed it to the side, man. And that's why you're being cursed right now. Come brothers. on. And then the crazy thing is that y'all that reject this knowledge, y'all <coughs> still being cursed to this day, you too. still being cursed to this Y'all fall in the same boat Matter as fact. all of us. Matter you know fact. what I'm saying? We'll bring, we'll bring it out, but we're going to jump into the curse. I got a, I got a precept for that. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. So Ecclesiastes um, 43 and 30, I'm just going to say it real quick. It was just talking about exalting your house, watching your house, how God. you can't exalt him. And no, so that means when we were talking about going out on Saturdays or doing the bare minimum, you don't want to do that. You want to do as much as you can for y'all watching me outside because there's never enough. Darn, man. So that's that's going with seeking him now, like seeking why he may be found. You know what I'm saying? Right. Watching me outside. Right. Because we're trying to be the redeemers for right. this nation that's been built. The fruits, man, of the kingdom, man. Darn. The whole for the lack. Your mindset should not just be, oh, I want to be the one third that's going to be saved, man. Yeah, if you want to be that, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, you may do the bare minimum. I mean, he may have mercy on you in the end. But that's not, that shouldn't be. Once you once you find that you're an Israelite, especially an Israelite man, especially an Israelite man, you should want, you should want to be the whole for elect, man, 144,000, man, the first fruits of the kingdom, brother. That's what you should want to be. That should be your ultimate goal. And then that's what all of those blessings that we came, that we brought out in the beginning of the video, man. That's what all these blessings gonna gonna come to you, man. You know, go ahead and bring that out, brother. Come on, which one you want to do? Whatever that one you you was uh you was about to bring out. Oh, come on, come on. Come and then we can jump. You know what I'm saying? We can jump into the curses. I go ahead and start. This is Ecclesiastes chapter forty three verse thirty. When ye glorify Yahweh Shai, exalt him as much as ye can, for when ye for for even yet will he far exceed, and when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength, and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. Right, man. Right. And that's just going with us getting this knowledge, all right? Because we're destroyed for lack of knowledge, so we get this knowledge, and then we get an understanding, and now we're trying to be redeemed, get built back, built back up, and be a part of this nation being built back up that we brought out these other scriptures before, the Tabernacle of David, being wow. rose and back up, <clears throat> and us going back to our land, and also us really technically being redeemed, you know what I'm right, saying? Man. And how can we? We gotta be pleasing in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. Study to show thyself approved, approved, man. So that's why you can never exalt him enough. So any of you guys new new um listeners in, or anybody that even um is hearing, you know this word, right? Right, man. You gotta do as much as you can, and just know it's it's never enough. So just do as much as you can and keep going, keep going, and keep, keep going, going. And keep don't going. stop. Come on. So now we can go into these curses, <laughs> and this this really you know should get you an understanding of how. You should want to um, be redeemed. You know what I'm saying? Because we're under the curses move, now. Man. Come on. So like to go. be wise in this world right now because we're under these curses. Come on, man. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Verse 16. 
Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Come on, and that's what we were saying when we brought out you going into the city and like people looking down upon you. Right. That's man. the cursing, man. Right. They man. think we're and that criminal city. And that city that. could. That's that. That city is talking about America right now. Come on. It's talking to the land that the Bible speaks of, man. The virgin, ancient, virgin Babylon. I mean, the, uh, I'm sorry, Salah. Uh, the virgin daughter of Babylon. You know, because this place has never been touched, man. Only thing that's on this earth right now is wickedness, man. Wickedness and curses upon all Israel, brothers. So you go out there, man. You driving in your car. Police jump behind you for no reason, bro. Could be nothing wrong with you. You cursed in the city, brothers. You cursed, man. Cursed oh, shall man. be the fruit of thy body. No, salat, salat. Cursed shall be the basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land. The increase of thy kin and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Come on, and that's even talking about going in places and coming out of places. Like we was talking about when it, with them blessings, man. You know what I'm stores. saying? You go inside of a store, brother. You know, you go inside of a store, and automatically you got uh uh you got karen following you around man i know y'all seen the videos man especially that one video of the other of the one jake lady that was in the store and the karen lady was she was recording the lady and the karen lady was following her around trying to hit her man that's cursed man you cursed in and out of the store now and the officers they eat my like officers they don't even want to do nothing they oh well, they trying to ban they trying to ban the jake lady they trying to ban eve from the store when she ain't do nothing but record the lady Come on oh and te and technically you can see she has a mental problem nah man you curse me Connor, you can um even look that up all the time i know y'all i know y'all see it all the time man y'all see yeah. videos y'all probably watch them reels on on your social yeah. media you know on what i'm YouTube, saying YouTube, on youtube yeah. you know whatever the case may be man Come on. uh Verse 20. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall send. Salah. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall send upon the cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou sittest thy hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsake me. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land where the thou goest to possess it. Con and pestilence goes with um economic diseases. So that's why you see Jake, especially like the um what is it called? Um Judah, tribe of Judah, which is the so called Negroes having all Con. these things like gout and um what high blood pressure, right? All these diseases that we have right. and um um for, well high on um, cholesterol too. We High have blood whole, pressure, diabetes, yeah, all that stuff. You know it's always, you always even with the it. even with the jab, man. Even with the jab, they was trying to get oh, Israel. Yeah, they was true. trying to get. They talk about some. Oh, we trying to go after the the black community, man. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, man. They trying to go after all Israel to get the jab first. Gone. Why? Because that's a curse put upon us, man. What was that? Verse twenty. Verse twenty-two. 22. The Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever and with inflammation and with an extreme burning and with the sore and with blasting and with mildew and they shall pursue thee until thou perish come on that's basically something about what we were just talking about with the pestilence also god man so that's just going with you know and that sword that modern day sword is what Esau, man Esau, the um, white man you know our enemy that so. gun man that Esau lived by yeah, man come on. you know what i'm saying so it's really made, made basically us being oppressed, all right? Wherever we're at. Wherever we go, man. It ain't nowhere in this land that you're going to be able to go, bro, that you're not going to be oppressed. If you don't get hit, well, all you don't the, get For the four corners by. of the earth, man, you're not going to, especially, but for the four corners of the earth, but especially here in ancient Babylon, in, in Babylon, man. Babylon the Great. Because one, one of these things going to hit you. If one, one of them them. don't have another one them, one's man. gonna hit you exactly one of them you may won't. not get hit by the sword but you can get hit, hit by, by the pestilence if you don't get hit by the pestilence you can hit by the blasting or the mildew you know whatever the case may be man and they even say um they shall pursue, pursue thee until thou perish you know they yeah, gonna keep coming at you keep coming after you keep coming at you yeah, how about Shimon Al-Shah is going to make sure that y'all two-thirds get destroyed by the sword, famine, death, destruction. He has that God. stuff reserved for the ungodly, you know what I'm saying? Man. And all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. 
So these are the curses that will be applied to you guys that that don't hearken onto these words. You know, God, man. And we even just went into that too with the law. It says if you don't follow the, the law inside the book, you know, this Bible, the word, it says that you still will be cursed. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's right. the one that you have brought out before, you know. Like right, recently, right, 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 right. Under right. the law, you know. Right. So we can keep going too. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 23. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. The Lord Yahweh Shai shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust. From heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. The Lord Yahweh Shai shall cause thee to be smitten before thy enemies, and thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Yeah, that, that even said like how our nation is nowhere to be found right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have the nation of Israel anywhere in any part of the earth. We're scattered from all four corners of the earth. Come and on. also, it said, um, it says we'll flee seven ways. So that kind of goes in to the opposite of being blessed when we're going into how our enemies would trip out our feet and that right, they would right. all. So we it's the opposite. Of we, now we, we, stand, yeah. we, steady, we steady trying to run away from them. Yeah, come on. You know what I'm so saying? Now, Why? Because they live by the sword, man. Now they live by the sword. Come on. We are on 26. 26. And, and thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air and unto the beasts of, to, of the earth, and no man shall fray them away. The Lord will smite thee with the bolts of Egypt and with the emeralds and with the scab and with the itch whereof thou canst not be healed. Um, so with um twenty with twenty um six when it was saying and thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air and unto the beasts of the earth and no man shall fray them away when we was go getting lynched and getting um what is it called killed they didn't respect they didn't our body they left it scattered they left it there, man they even had um the the beheadings and they also had sticks with just the head stuck like stuck, stuck in the ground that's man. when our, our they the slave revolted feed, they was feeding they was feeding our babies to alligators, alligators man stuff. they didn't give a damn they so, burnt they they uh 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 they burnt they they put you over you oh, know yeah, how they, like they do with with a, with a pig and they roast it over a fire yeah, they used so. to do our bodies like that man um, that's, when the slaves revolted there, there was one in history I, I forgot what it was called but they had revolted and when um the you know esau the enemy killed those who have revolted they put their heads on sticks and had them all across like a whole pathway you know you can right, look it up i remember about that so that even goes with the carcass shall be on uh, meat onto all fowls of the air and onto beasts of the um, earth and no man shall fray them away they ain't gonna respect our body they're gonna just leave them sitting out you know and on this earth with no respect. There. come on you can keep going though 28 and the Lord shall smite thee with the madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind grope in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save thee. And that even goes with when we kept bringing up being oppressed. For all these things right now, our people are oppressed. We've been oppressed and we're just saying we're at the bottom right now. Right. So even say the first shall be last and last shall be first. So right now wow. we're waiting for this um we're waiting right now to be redeemed, you know what I'm saying? To be saved. Our man. nation to be built back together, you know, and, and be redeemed by Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. So once the people that the one third, you know, and the one hundred forty four thousand prophets that's inside the one third rise up and be built back together, that's when all these prophecies obviously will take place because we'll be redeemed, you know. And right now we're doing this work to um gather the sheep the lost sheep of israel back God. so that's what we're trying to do right now you know what i'm saying god so the only way we'll be safe is through your shot no man shall save us martin luther king can't save you malcolm x can't save you black lives matter can't save you None all of those man. people you know george soros made black lives matter and stuff those people can't save you man you know None and that's can, ignorant man. to see and if they could people, save you we'll be saved, saved right already now. So even this contradicts it too. It says that no man shall save thee. So y'all no say, oh, Martin Luther King fought for us to be, you know, done with slavery and all that. Man, we wasn't, yeah, we got taken out of bondage. 
really, that was it. Really, but we still in really, slavery, man. Really, we, we just changed um, the way of our masters. We went from the plantation masters to company masters right now. Right. So the master right now right. is these um, companies. So that's, that's what that the Civil pre, War. That's that pre sale that I got. That's made. what the Civil War was. You know, the Union against the Confederate. You know, both of them. So God. they were just really fighting for the slaves of how they wanted the slaves to be. You know, and now right, because of what happened, we're slaves to um the companies right now. Not to slaves wicked, to, these, to these wicked, these wicked Edomites that rule the earth right and, now. And man. that's it's embarrassing. Nine twenty four, man. And that's also embarrassing Shit. for y'all jakes to act like we're not slaves right that's now. Y'all that's, that's that's that's. That 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 Job nine and twenty four man, that's one of the brothers in our camp, man. He 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 put he he turned me on to that one, man. And it was a good, it was always a precept that I that I that I that I stuck with, man. Job nine and twenty four says, you know, for the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Where and who is he? Who are those people right now, man? You these so called Edomites, man. Esau, man. And that that's that just like the brother was saying that we we still in that old prayer. We changed different slaves, man. We went from the plantation slave masters to these company slaves, to these company masters, man. You know, they talking about, oh, you gotta wear a mask, you gotta do all this, you gotta do all that. But if you Israelites wake up and understand that you still being oppressed, you wouldn't even you wouldn't even be wearing one either. But y'all, y'all love yay. Yeah, y'all love the image of all though, man. Y'all love that image, bro. Y'all feel like y'all feel like y'all feel like the white man can save y'all, man. And they ain't even white. White mean holy. It's pure. They red. <laughs> the, real, the, you know? the real white man is Esau. God. All right. Just like how they they gave us a byword, you know, like they call us um um blacks, um African Americans, African Americans. Um, what is it called? Then they got Latinos like um poor, poor, um Puerto Rican. Um, Cubans, all these. We ain't names. even gonna get into all of the other words because I, I don't want them to strike us, man. So we ain't yeah, gonna get so into all Yeah, so they got all these. Words. Yeah, I'm just saying they got all these words. So it's like right, that's how you right. know. Yeah, y'all people that that really believe this though, go see how far back you can go into your history. And if it's all the way to slavery, that's how you know that you don't know who you really are. Because oh, at the man. end of the day, if you say that you were slave at one of the places, like let's say Puerto Rico or something. And that's it. That's how far back you could go into history. That's how you know this right here, this Bible, the word, you know, this has your history. All right. All right this man. shows you who you are. Come so on. all y'all people that that slaves right now to this system, you know, we were just talking about going to um, Egypt again. And Egypt means captivity. You know right. what I'm saying? And be sold as bondsmen and bond and women, women. You know, and no man shall buy you, meaning no man shall um, buy you out of this um what is it called? This slavery. You know? Out of this oppression, man. So the thing is, you won't be bought out of this slavery. So we would sit as slaves here and black, African American, and all these other um bywords that we have, we're gonna be going we're gonna be ridden and we're gonna get to where it talks about will be um called a byword. Those are bywords, you know what I'm saying? Right. And if they go far back to slavery and that's it, you can't go far back after that. That's how you know that, like you was just saying, um, the world is given into the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. You don't know who you are. You know what I'm saying? He covers right, the faces man. of the you judges. You don't know where you come from. You could look at the savior that they have in, in this Bible right now, you know, the JC person, and he has it being a white face. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's not how he was because- Even, all, really, even all of the apostles and, and the prophets, they got them all as yeah, white Yeah, that people, too, man. you know? And they that's covering the King faces David of David and King Solomon yeah. was white uh -huh. people, and they, and they was Israelite, uh -huh. bro. And that's covering the faces of the that's judges thereof. That's covering the faces of the judges thereof. So man. they covered the faces of the judges thereof, and also they they um we're, we're now called a byword, okay? Come on. So come on, we can keep going. This is Deuteronomy twenty-eight and verse thirty: Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard and shall not gather the grapes thereof. Right, man. So, you know, like he was saying, thou shalt but thou shalt uh That's thou shalt be taught a wife and another man shall lie with her. Come on, man. You you look at it right now, brothers. You look at it right now. Yeah, you you got, you got you got you got Eve out here. You got Eve out here being with you, but she turned around and land with another man. She cheating on you with another man. You know what I'm saying? So, That's a curse, bro. Not even just that. You get a wife right yeah, you, now. She already right, laid man. with so many dudes. She done already oh, laid man. with so many people, bro. So, she done already laid with so many people. And probably got kids from them, too. And that's a curse. And then also, Amos chapter 7, verse 17 says, 
Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Shai, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons uh, and daughters shall fall by the sword, which we just said Esau, you know, is God. a sword. And thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. So that also proved that our wives are going to be harlots, you know. And it even says that, um, and thou shalt die in a polluted land. Look at this place right now. What are they doing? They got these chemtrails going on. They put things in our water. They poison us. You know what I'm saying? And it, you got to be ignorant to not understand that and say that this is true. You know what I'm saying? Really, if you if you reject this, then that means you you technically ready to die. Then. Get get polluted. You ready to to um, breathe in these chemicals, eat whatever you want. Right, you know, man. and get poisoned. You know what I'm saying? So right. we're all this, this whole place is wicked. You know what I'm saying? And the biggest thing that we're doing right now um, is bringing back you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans to be back to come back to this um, rebuild the rise up of the um, of the Tabernacle of David. You know what I'm saying? That I brought back before one of those scriptures in the before um, that we're, we're bringing back and to come back to our land. All right, because this land is polluted, man. Nobody wants to be here right now and, and die here, man. But you two thirds will. Because y'all don't hearken to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Y'all don't um, seek Yahweh Bashem Yahshua while you may be found. So that's gonna that curse is gonna stay on to you till death. So it's your decision if you want to come back and repent of your sins. But if you want to follow um this this spiritual start of Gomorrah in Egypt captivity, Precept. then you're gonna die there. <clears throat> Precept on ahead. what you were saying, man. This is the book of Micah, chapter two and verse ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It um. shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction, man. Um. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, don't, don't, don't try to build no treasures here, man. You know what I'm saying? Um. That goes in the book. Matter of fact, find that for me, Baba Uh, um, to stack your riches here. I think it's Matthew chapter 24, verse 19, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what it is, it, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, man, back, back to back to Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. I'm going to read that one more time. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction, man. This place will destroy you, brothers. Every time you turn around, you see two men walking. This old Sodom and Gomorrah bull crap. Every time you turn the TV on, they pushing this, this ABC community bull crap. You know what I'm saying? Every time you turn around, you got these wicked people doing some wickedness around. You know? Don't, don't try to rest here, bro. Don't. Put your treasures up in heaven, man. Put your treasures up in heaven, man. Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and everything that the world and all that the world in thee. Woe unto all that the world in thee, woe unto the inhabitants on the earth and into the sea. Because the devil come down you with a great wrath, knowing that he has but a short time, man. And that has to go with us right now, trying to be delivered out of um this this captivity that we're in. Like we're oh, under the man. curses right now. We're seeking Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, and we're trying to um be a part of this um build of this nation, the rebuild of this nation. So we're trying to take a part of that. So right now. The devil having a short time, that's Esau, you know, because it says that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning that um that wow. follows it. So since Jacob is the um is the new beginning, you know what I'm saying? Jacob goes into the twelve tribes. That, and we were just telling you who are the Israelites. That priesthood I was asking you to find um mm -hmm. is lay churches up in heaven. I, I I can't I can't think of what that priesthood um, is. I I know it's in Matthews though, brother. Matthew chapter six. Matthew chapter six. The water here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I got it right here. Come, go ahead. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 19. That's what it is. Come. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 19 says, Lay not up yourself treasures upon the earth where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven whom neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. And where thieves do not break through or steal, nor steal. Yeah, man. So that goes, that's a precept that goes good with, with Micah chapter 2 and 10, man. Lay your treasures up in or on, on heaven, man. Yeah, because in heaven, brothers. This place don't, is not don't, our worry about, don't worry about trying to lay your treasures here, man. Have you not noticed that every time you try to build something here, man, you got the wicked trying to either put their hand in it 
or they trying to take it away from you. Back to what we were saying earlier when we was talking about the uh the Black Wall Street. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And that ain't the only place that that's not the only that's not the only all black uh uh place, man. Even even um even where they got the art yeah, over the there in, in heck yeah, well, con, con, con. Go with that. Con. Hey, that guy one and six, man. I'm gonna bring that out. Yeah, bro. con. The because water, this man. place Yopper. right now is not where we should be stacking and building right here. We should be being a part of this. Get that light from above up shot, please. Come on, come on. Uh, this is the book of Haggai, chapter 1 and verse 6. Ye have so much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough ye drink. But ye are not filled with drink. Ye cloth you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag with holes, man. Right, man. So you you may have something to drink in your refrigerator, but and you it still ain't enough. enough. To fill you, you, know you don't have saying? enough to fill you. You and may eat and still, you know, and, and still ain't enough. Like it says too at the end where it says, "But he that earneth wages earneth wages to put in a bag with holes, man." So it's like as soon as you get money, it's burning a hole in your pocket, man. It's it's just it's, it's gone already. You don't have enough money. To you you struggling it. to try to pay rent. Come you struggling to try to pay your car payment. You struggling to try to put food in your house. Come every day you turn around, brothers. Every day you turn around, man. Esau can walk in a, in, a, in, a, in a place right now with the same credit score as you, bro. Same credit score as you, and get that place. Come you walk in there with that credit score that, e that Esau got, and they're going to tell you you got to put down three times the rent. But Esau probably don't even make three times the rent, but they just know he's going to be able to pay it. Why? Because it goes back to Job 9 and 24. The earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked, man. Come on, brothers. Y'all got to wake up, man. Y'all got to wake up. Come on, Israel. You got to wake up, man. Back to these curses. Come on. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 31. Thy ox shall be slain before thy eyes, and thou shalt not eat there, thereof. Thy ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thy enemies, and thou shalt have none to rescue them. I got song for that. Um, okay, so this this even talks about the um the because there was two nations we had the southern nation you know and the um the southern kingdom and the um northern kingdom it got split God. and this goes for the northern kingdom like when um some of them was in north america you know what i'm saying when um the the so-called um columbus and all of them came right this is jeremiah chapter 5 verse 15 it says lo i will bring a nation upon you from far o house of israel saith yahweh it is a mighty nation. It is an ancient nation, a nation whose language thou knowest not, neither understandeth what they say. Right, man. That goes back, brother. They took everything away from. They took our whole heritage away from us, man. Uh, so when we give all praises, we, we people look at us like we speak in the tongues. They try to say we speak in the tongues in a different language. No, man. We spoke ancient. We we spoke Paleo Hebrew. You yeah, know? yeah, but this, this but now, this, but now, like he said, man, you gonna go to a nation where they speak is not. Yeah, so we don't know their language, we, which is right now, you know, this English. We had to this learn is this. English, man. This we is not, our, this is not our own um, language, you know. Come and on, it says man. it's a mighty nation, is an ancient nation, a nation whose language thou know is not, neither understandeth what they say. And it says their quiver, their quiver is as an open um sculpture. They are all mighty men. And they shall eat up thy harvest and thy bread, which thy sons and thy daughters should eat. They shall eat up thy flocks and thy herds. They shall eat up thy vines and thy fig trees. They shall impro impoverish, impoverish thy fenced cities, wherein thou trusted with the sword. Right, so like he said, man, when 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 uh when so called Christopher Columbus came over here, man, yeah, they, they he was took friendly. everything with the sword. They was trying yeah. to be friendly. They started eating your food. Yeah. Then before you know it, they started they stealing your crop. Stuff, they started you know, stealing your your, your 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 uh. They were stealing your cattle. You know, they, tried to they was come hunting in. your cattle. They tried to come in friendly and like you know the northern kingdom. Act like they was, was here to help or to be friends. Like, hey man, yeah, the you know, hey, kingdom, how you doing? The northern kingdom that was there, you know, which was um never trust our enemies, man. Grab that pre sale. It was, it, it was um it it's a car, it's a car, and um some of the other ones that's in the northern kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. The ones that was here, like Reuben and stuff like that. Come on, those come on. those um ones that was here. 
that that applied to them. You know what I'm saying? Right, they they man. they they trusted the sword. You know what I'm saying? And then they the that 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 nation that came. You know, which is right now an uh, ancient um nation. You know what I'm saying? And guess what happened? This is the resurrection of the um of the Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? And if you if if you know that this is the um the the beast that um it had a wound and the wound is healed now. I mean, it, the wound is um being healed right now. You know what I'm saying? Like this this is a um it's a rise of the of a new of the old ancient nation. You know what I'm saying? Which is the Romans back in the day, because right now they're doing the same thing now. This this um beast system. You know it applies to that ancient Roman um empire. All right, so never trust thy enemy. What happened was that goes with the curses, you know, of how they'll eat up your flock, all your goods, man. They're gonna eat all that. I'm about to um get the never trust um thy enemy. I know it's a precept I'm looking for. It's in the book of Joel, man. This is Ecclesiastes Sirach, chapter twelve, verse ten. It says, "Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness." So that shows you the earth is giving it the way. Right, man. I know y'all heard it. I know y'all seen that story, man. And y'all seen that uh it probably trended on your social media. Or the one girl, it was an Eve, and she was with like seven other seven other little Edomites, man. And they was all over there. So but she was she thought that they was her friend. You know what I'm saying? And one of our apostles did a video on it, man. Uh one of our elders. And she was she thought that these little Edomite girls was her friend, man, before the end of the night, bro. Her body was was I think it was burned and and and, and bro, she why? Because she ended up trusting our enemies, man. You know? That's just like all you E's out here laying up with these Edomites, bro. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see their horns in these last days, bro. Mm -hmm. They gonna give y'all up quicker than you know it, mm -hmm. man. Unless you bow down to them. You know, y'all think that, oh, and the only reason why y'all out there doing it, why? Because y'all want to get out of, y'all trying to escape these curses, man. Y'all trying to escape these curses, so y'all think that, okay, if I go out here and I lay with the enemy, which is the reason why half of these curses got put upon us, Come. you know what I'm saying? They were, they was out here laying with the enemy, the Canites, the Hamites, the Anamites, you know what I'm saying? Y doing all of that stuff, bro. But it, it, and you gonna see in these last days, bro, what's gonna really happen to you, man? Come on, I got I got a precept for that. This is Psalms one hundred six verse thirty four. It says, "They did not destroy Spirit. the nations concerning whom Yahweh commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works." So that even what you just said, they bowed down and did all the the um, works of the heathen. Continuing says, "And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them." You know, which is a trap onto them. You know what I'm saying? Right, Snare is a trap. So y'all, y'all two thirds is gonna fall into the hand of the enemy, and y'all gonna get destroyed with the enemy. Exactly, you know? man. Exactly. And that goes with what you were just saying of how um we were just talking about that you you two thirds the only way y'all 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 trying to run away from these curses. And you can't, cause if you even if you try to run away from it, bro, it may not catch you then. It may not get you then, but it's going to catch up to you regardless, bro. Uh -huh. It's going to. For all you aqua, all you Akims and you aquas out there that's listening, it's going to catch up to you. Regardless, you can't escape these curses until we be redeemed from our Lord. Yahweh Bashin, Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? There's there's no possible way, bro. That's like that's like this. That's like, okay, you know how you got a dog chasing you, you know, and you 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 just constantly running straight, you don't turn or do none of that. Eventually that dog is gonna catch you. And when it catch you, what it's gonna do? It's gonna bite the shit out of you, and you go, you gonna be feeling it. That's the same way, bro. That's the same way. They're like they tell you, oh, if you run away from an alligator, you gotta run and zigzag, because if you run straight, it's gonna catch you. Yeah, man, it's the same thing, brothers. It's the same exact thing, man. You cannot escape these curses. You can't. Come on, you can't. Shout out, y'all. Watch my shot, brother. Y'all watch my shot, brother. Y'all watch my shot, brother. Y'all watch my shot, brother. And um, continue with Jeremiah chapter five verse eighteen. I wanted to finish it with never, nevertheless, in those days, saith Yahweh Shai, I will not make a full end with you. So that was talking about that situation that happened when um that ancient nation came in, ate up all the flocks, ate up all you know the goods, and um they trusted um they they um thou trustest with the sword, you know which was the enemy. But right, Yahweh Shai right. said, nevertheless, in those days, saith Yahweh, I will not make a full end with you. See, Yahweh Shimon Shah has mercy on his people. You know what I'm saying? 
He's not. He do, he, he doesn't want all to perish. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is we we can't um we have to get punished from these curses because we we kindled a fire with Yahweh Hashem. I'm shot. We made him angry. You know what I'm saying? Right, man. So because of us um attaching to these heathen nations and um worshiping their idols and stuff like that, even to this day proves that would that our people are doing it. You know what I'm saying? We see our people right now in this beast system that we were just talking about, this um beast that um the um the wound was healed, you know, being rebuilt here, the ancient um Roman Empire, you know. Right, man. They they're doing it right now to this day. I wonder what they we wonder what they were doing in the past, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I and also so all of us have sinned, you know what I'm saying? And but it's E D, you know, past tense. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you should strive to not sin no more. You can't exactly, just sit there and man. be like, We're not all perfect and then sit there and um do the bare minimum. That's doing the bare minimum, which what we were just bringing out in the back with um you can't exalt y'all about shimmy outside enough, you know. You can't do the bare minimum. So if you want to um, hold yourself down because you want to say we're not all perfect and all has sinned with an ED, that shouldn't mean an uh, excuse for you to not hearken to Yahweh Hashem Yahshua's words and do your best to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. That was it on that? Go on. Go on. Go on. Right, man. Like the brother was saying, but I got a precept that I want to bring out real quick. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. His status and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments that have not known them. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. Uh, right, brother. So, with that being said, man, that shows you right there that these curses were put upon the children of Israel. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. These curses were put upon us, bro. Huh. So I, I just, I hope, I really do hope, you know, that 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 this video was very edifying to y'all, and hope that y'all could understand that these curses was put upon y'all, and, and 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 come back to your power, man. Come back to your power. You got another pre sale up? Yeah, I got some more. Um, I wanted to make sure we put um the by word in there though. Okay, yeah. Hold on, before we finish though. This is um, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. It says, Yahweh, Yahweh um, shall bring a nation against thee from, from far, from the end of the earth as swift as an eagle flyeth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. See, it says, um, from the end of the earth as swift as an eagle flyeth. You know, right, who, which, which nation has the eagle, man? The bald eagle, America. You know what I'm saying? Mystery Babylon the Great is also, you know, what it's called. And I wanted to get a precept on that. This is um, Micah 4 and 10. It says, be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. There Yahweh shall redeem thee from the hand of thy enemies. See, we want to be redeemed from the hand of thy of our enemies, you know? And it says that, and thou shalt, shalt go even to Babylon. Babylon is mystery. This is mystery Babylon the Great, all right? So going with Deuteronomy 28 and 49, it says, Yahweh shall bring, bring a nation against thee from afar from the end of the earth as swift as an eagle flyeth a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand we went in with um the 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 tongue thou shalt not understand we already brought that out now we're bringing um the mystery babylon and we um compared it with the um as swift as an eagle flyeth you know so to show you that this is america you know america has plenty of names it's spiritually sodom gomorrah and egypt spiritually oh um, you know that's where that's why for um spiritually egypt goes into captivity so deuteronomy chapter um 28 verse 68 it says in your house shall bring thee into egypt again with ships by the way wherefore i spake unto thee that thou shalt see it no more again see it says egypt it will bring thee into egypt again how many times have we been in captivity in egypt according to the own um, bible once you know when we got delivered out you know with moses but it was through the power of Yahweh Shemel Shah. All right. So we we're in um Egypt again right now. All right. 
things written before talking about written for our learning now. So this uh, applies to us now. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's and, and that uh uh and if I may add to that, I got a precept for that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter one and verse and verse nine. The thing that had that have been the salah, the thing that have been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Verse 10. Is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new? It has been already of old time, which was before us. Right, man. So we just kept getting put into captivity. Every single time we was put into Greek captivity, Roman captivity, all of these captivities, bro. We were just put in all these captivities, man. And the Lord kept doing it. Why? Because we kept sinning. We kept falling. We kept praising other fault. We kept praising false gods. You know, we kept doing things that the Lord asked us not to do. He gave us law, statutes, and commandments, but we decided to go off. So now what we're telling you is to come back to your willful, come back to the willful obedience of the Bible, man. Come back to your power, Yahweh Bashin, Yahweh Shah, and seek him. And seek him. Those that are dear to the end shall be saved. So you can't just, okay, hear this video and then say, all right, well, yeah, now I know I'm an Israelite. You can't just read this Bible, bro, and think that you're going to get it. This has to be taught to you. Okay. It has to be taught to you. If you if you go to school and you read a whole math book, would you be able to get it? No, you won't. No, you won't. You can probably read the whole math book and do everything and get it, but you're still not going to learn. Your teacher taught you what what y plus uh, 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 y equals mx plus b or whatever the case may be. You had to be taught that. You teach a child how to be an adult. You teach a child how to what you know what I'm saying to do all the things that you learn. So you have to be taught this. Once you are taught that you are Israelite, man, come back to your power, your power, man, and praise Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakadash, man. Come on. And going with that, I wanted to add Deuteronomy 28 verse 64. And Yahweh uh. Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. So we were just talking about what they was. We went into so many different captivities, you know. So many saying? different captivities. So we man, got scattered, scattered all over the earth, you know. Right. What I mean? Exactly. And it says, "And there shalt thou serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known." You know. So that's going off. Jake going off. You know what I'm saying? Right, Even man. wood and stone. Wood and stone goes with these big um religions right now. Wood being um the the crosses. We see Jake going off serving. Praying to walking cross, around with them on their neck, on their ear, have them all in their car. Man, you Jake, you you Jake's be through, man. Be through, man. Come on. So and, and then with stone, it goes with that um the um the Islam, that stone that they pray to. Right, man. Right. So that's just showing Jake going off, you know, the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So that 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 has to prove to you. Of how our people are to this day. Right, going into verse 65. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall give thee there a trembling heart and a failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have. None assurance of thy life. Right, man. You don't have no assurance of your life, bro. You don't know if you're going to live today, tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen to you, man. Yeah, and also, you don't even know how you're going to strive. You know what I'm saying? When you're no, born, man. you want to be a football player, rapper. You know, you're forced to do that. You know what I'm saying? Every right. Jake, when they right. when they born. Because you seeing, you seeing what all of these... With all these so other Jakes all, doing yeah, in these moves. in these music industries and in these entertainment industries, they ain't number high play high paid Pay slaves, play. man. That's oh. all it is. You don't know what goes on behind them closed doors, but all you and know is the riches that come that, with um, it. To, get that, to get that money, man. You gotta yeah. praise these false gods, man. You gotta yeah. do satanic behind the uh, uh, rituals, uh, and, rituals stuff. and stuff. And that man. stuff is gonna anger y'all, boss. Y'all shot. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't gonna do nothing 
but destroy your ass. And man. that goes with Jake trying to find a loophole to these cur curses. Exactly. You trying to beat the curses because you want to go out here and you want to see all oh, your favorite rapper, Lil Wayne. You want to see your other little favorite rappers. You know what I'm saying? All these other Jake rappers out there. Oh, they walk around in the, in, in the tight jeans with all the gold riches and all that shit be leased, man. They don't be theirs. Uh -huh. Why? Because they trying to set treasures here, yeah, man. Come, you come. thinking that because you want a big house out there, man. Or you 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 in debt. It's always in debt. You don't own it. You don't own it. that you house, man. Y'all paying mortgage, paying You pay property. exactly, bro. You Just know. imagine when you in the kingdom, bro, when you get all yeah, these blessings they won't and you gonna have a house. You gonna have a house. Matter of fact, grab that for me, bro. Because y'all my uh, in my father's house is many mansions, man. And we we can close it out on that if I you got want. A little more. But um uh, Right, man. So uh, back to what I was saying, in the kingdom, bro, your house is going to be built on the finest golds, bro, the finest stones, man. The precious, the most precious stone in the world, gold, topaz, emerald, you know, uh, uh, all of those fine rubies, you know what I'm saying? All of these things, man. Like the, what, what's the lady name? The queen of, the queen of uh, 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 London, that ruby that sit on her crown, man, that's one of our finest golds, man. That's one of our finest stones, man. Just imagine your house, your, your mansion, in the kingdom built off of that come on man don't lay just like we said in matthew 6 verse 29 man lay yeah. not treasures upon the earth calm we're gonna finish it down. michael 2 and 10 arise ye and depart come on man come because on. if y'all keep on trying to run for these curses like i told y'all before man in hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31 it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living god bro it is a fearful thing. Once the Lord get it, once the Lord get on your left hand, once you get on that left hand side of the Lord, bro, you through. You through, man. You're gonna get more than curses. You're gonna get judgment after judgment after judgment after judgment after judgment, bro. Because why? You fail to come back to your power, man. You fail to come back to your power, man. Come. On. And um, before we finish though, we about to finish though. Um, I wanted to bring this one out too. And then we're going to add a little more, and it's going to be over. I'm going to end it with the um, mansions. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. It says, And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether Yahweh shall lead thee. So, whether Yahweh shall um, lead thee. So, that goes with uh, being a byword, being called so called Negroes. Like um African Americans, the N word, Americans, all that you know stuff. What I'm you know what I'm saying? Spicks, yeah, spicks, and, and, all that, and, and all of the, really all those words, words that you that, know, words that are not all right. Words that's not our words. Not words that don't define. They you. don't define us. You know what I'm saying? So that's we why. know. We know. We what we trying to help y'all a lot, brother. What so we right. trying to help y'all understand, man, is that y'all are Israelites. Yeah, not you a black children. person. And not say, a Negro. They say ye are gods. Yeah. And you are children of uh, the most ye, high. Ye are guys, children of the most, most high. high, man. All of us are gods, man. You Israelites, you are gods, man. Whether you like it or not, the thing is, you can't run away from these curses because you'll perish if, you, if you're unfaithful. You know, the ungodly will perish, you know what I'm saying? And back and to what you were saying, the unfaithful, unfaithful will die in their unfaithfulness, man. So the thing is, I know some of y'all just be like, Oh, I will serve a power that will punish our people and this, that, the other. It's like, it don't matter what you want. You know what I'm saying? But that's because, you know why, though, brother? That's because they they, they, they let this Christian mentality get to them where they, oh, God loves everybody. everybody JC loves stuff. everybody. No, he don't, man. Romans 9 and 13 says, for Jacob that I love and Esau that I, I hate. hate he only loves Jacob. Come and who is Jacob? Israel. Israel. And who is Israel? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, Come man. On, yeah. That, who is yeah. Esau, the wicked, man? We just explained who the wicked was. Now, we can jump into that, but that's for a later yeah, video. Later. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna, You know, but 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 the no. brother but the brother Ashar just put just did a video uh, last night that we gonna, that I'm going to post on the channel. He did a video on who the wicked was, yeah, man. Calm, you know, Yappa video, man. Calm, the water. Y'all right, so sorry that we know that, that, we, that we be a part of that elect, man. Calm. Go ahead, brother. Calm. Oh yeah, you already had did that one. Hack out on one and six. Gone. That one was already done. So what we're gonna do is we already know you shouldn't be stashing your riches here. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be building on this place. You should be a part of this nation being built. Now that's you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You know, 
y'all, y'all Israelite, y'all should come back to your power, which is y'all washing outside. We're gonna finish though, because these curses, you know, it's only for a short time. We're, we're, we're punished right now in this land, but we wanna come back, be redeemed, all right? This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. It says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, work is for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. You know what I'm saying? So it's showing like what we're going to go through as a people, as a nation, is a light affliction. All right? And that, that has to do with these curses. Because if you partake in this, this um, wise counsel, you're going to be going through trials and um, tribulation, all right? God. And it, 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 it will, it's for, it's for a light affliction. It's for a light affliction, which is but for a moment. So it's a short time. So there's no point of you trying to find a loophole against these curses. You should combat it and repent of your sins and be a man for your how about some y'all shot. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being, being um, running away from these things and trying to be protected by the white man. Think right, the white man, man. going to save you. It says no man shall save you. So you can't be thinking this white man. Hold that fast, shall no man take thy crown, man. God. So, so going with that, it says for a full and more exceeding glory. You know what I'm saying? It says, it says, work is for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So it's gonna make us more better, more perfect. This this um suffering we have to go through. You get what I'm saying? And this suffering is part of us for a y'all by shim y'all shy and um and going back to being a nation again. You know what I'm saying? So that has to do that has to do with a lot. You know what I'm saying? That has to do with taking on this suffering, bearing your cross, all right? And these curses will apply to us, especially when you awoke and you wake up to the truth and you seek Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. He's going to try you and test you, but it works for a far more exceeding weight of eternal glory. So that goes with John 14 and, and two, verse 2. It says, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. That's what y'all right, said. That's that's red letters. Many right, mentions you go prepare a place for you. Why would you sit there and try to um pay for mortgage and and um what is it called property tax and take out loans and all that when Yahweh Shai said he can build his father has many mansions and he go and um, prepare a place for you. What which is, is that? First us. John, uh first John two and fifteen, love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. For the love of the world is um For the love the of the world the father is not in you. I know I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. Salat, man. Come That's on. what I'm gonna grab. I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab that. Um. Matter of fact, let me see. Uh, you got it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump up. I'm gonna jump up a few. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start at. This is the book of uh, First John, chapter two and verse thirteen. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. Who is the wicked one? We Esau. just got into that, man. Esau. I, I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. I I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye have so like, because ye are strong and the word of Yahweh abided. Salah. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, abided for you until ye have overcome the wicked one. First John chapter two and verse fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him, man. And that's what we're trying to help y'all understand, man. Uh -huh. This world right here, bro. Don't love this shit. Yeah, I understand you got your mama, you got your daddy, you got your cousins, you know, you jakes out there, y'all love to, love to love, pop your little pills, you know what I'm saying, drink your little drink, you know, smoke your little, your little marijuana, whatever the case may be, man. But that's love in this world, bro. Y'all like to drive your little nice car you got. Man, that car, man. Just imagine when you and your, when you got your own chariot, bro. And like you just said, in my father's house is many mansions. And I was just telling y'all about how yo, just imagine these so these same VBS diamonds, <laughs> these same VBS diamonds yeah, that you gotta pay that you, that you gotta pay for. thousands of dollars you for. for free. You gonna get for free, man. 
And yeah. your whole house is gonna be on VVS diamonds, bro. You laying on a you yeah, laying on a bed and with that. with instead of wooden cherry wood. You got, you shit, got like a, but you got gold. Stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? And y'all like, remember the movie Coming to America? If y'all remember that movie Coming to America, man, you seen how he was, how he had all those women. That's how you Israelite men gonna be in the kingdom, bro. This is what y'all gotta understand. Since Esau blessing was to um, kill with the sword and to rule with the sword, you know what I'm saying? He got the sword, which is weapon. That's how Esau was able to lock up all the wealth. Right, Esau man. used these weapons to take over places and take all this wealth. And now you got to use the, the U.S. dollars to buy this stuff, which and is the white later, man's that's, face. That, that, sooner or yeah, later, that's going to crash. Crash, too. And, but just to tell y'all, Jake's wake up, that's the white man's faces on those papers. So only a white slave owner, an old-top slave owner, is used to buy these things that y'all Jake's want. But if you wait, you know, it says for a lot of affliction, work, working for, um, you know, a short time, you know, it's a short time. If you wait, you know what I'm saying? Everything will be given on to you. All you right. have to do is suffer and, pay, and with patience. Patience is suffering, man. Right. You man. know what I'm saying? To the return of Yahweh Shai. And endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Right, man. So it has to do with you taking all these curses. But but um, coming back to your power, which is Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Right. And not invoking them to anger. God. And yeah, how about Shemal Shah created everything? He created your own life. You know what I'm saying? What right. more can he what more will he do for you? Especially if you serve him. You know? If if you want awesome. these gold, these VBSs, all that stuff is not expedient right now because the world is given into the hands of the wicked. Wait till this new Spiritual leadership powers. Comes in. Just imagine, man. Just imagine this whole world being back ruled in righteousness, man. Yeah, and That's it's gonna be an everlasting want. kingdom. So this is not going to be for a long time. Bro. You know what I'm saying? This is not going to be for a long time. Right, man. All we have to do is push the plow and keep working. You know what I'm saying? That's why with this lesson before, when when it began, we wanted to show you who are the Israelites. And now you Israelites that take heed to um, this um, video, now you have an understanding on what things you should be doing, you know, at this time. Stop stacking your riches here. You know what I'm saying? Look for the um, far and exceeding glory, you know, which is obviously the... Um, Really, um, serving Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, he will give you what you desire, you know, at the later end, you know, when this new kingdom comes in. Uh, your own mansion, he said, my father has many mansions, so he said, I'll go and um, prepare a place for you, you know. So it's like, you will have a place. So there's no point of stacking your riches here. There, there's, even more, there's even more promises, you know, that Yahweh by Shem Yahshai has. And we probably, Yahweh right, Yahshai will make a video on that stuff too. God. But we just had to go into these curses to let y'all know the to bitter sweet. You know what right. I'm saying? To help y'all understand, you know, what 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 uh what it is that you're going through and hope and hope that them presas that we gave y'all was also edifying to you, man. You know, I just hope matter of fact, hope the whole video was edifying to uh -huh. you, man. So uh we're gonna go ahead and get ready to close it out. Like we say, man, I hope the video was edifying to you, you know, and uh Barakatha, Barakatha to the Akims and the Aquas that's going to be out there listening. Uh, Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Uh, and until next time, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom.